Hot 11 Soda Volume 2 Review Earlier this year, Young Press began releasing the shoujo series Hot 11 Soda, which introduced us to first year high school student Oka Ishimura and love interest Kai. With Volume 2 in hand, let's find out how the relationship develops. Thanks to spending time with Kai, Oka has found some footing in the school hierarchy, but that doesn't mean she still she isn't still be being made fun of or of or teased by her classmates. As we reunite with her own, we find her on a class hiking trip, which will be hosted as a welcome event for first year students. It turns out on the day when her gym uniform and a backpack filled with everything you could he need for a hike. When everyone else is in their usual school uniform, is she sticks out like a sore thumb. To make matters worse for Oka, her fellow classmates decide to make her look like a fool as they change the signs along the trail. Oka has her only map, so everyone else is trusting her to take them along the right path. So naturally, when they end up getting lost, all the blame falls on her. But volume 1 was about Oka's real school struggles. This one is very much about the problems Oka is facing from being friends with Kai. For as much sunshine as it brings to Oka's life, he's still one of the most popular boys at school. So hanging around with him is bringing unwanted attention and jealousy to Oka. Just like in volume 1, Kai is willing to help Oka to a certain extent that they can prevent all the negativity. It has to be said that Oka is well aware of her relationship with Kai causing her issues and Kai's friends, Takamini, even warns her that staying by Kai's side is likely to do for her more harm than good in the long run, but her heroine wants to change herself as she knows that being with Kai is a getaway to achieve the, achieving that. At the very least, he acts friendly toward her and gives her courage to try to make friends in her class, even if it has an uphill battle at times. What I appreciate about Honey Lemon Soda is that it is, is very grounded in reality. Kai hasn't magically fixed all of Oka's problems and despite the series being a shoujo, isn't fixated on the Roman side of things either. Very little of this entry is centered, centered around Oka and Kai as a potential couple. It spends the majority of its time with Oka's struggles with making friends and facing tension in the classroom. Given how many series like this will never think of putting the romance at the backburner, in favor of character development mangaka Mayu Morata deserves praise for being willing to take the story in a different direction from the usual, building strong foundations that will pay off down the road when the romantic aspect does come to the forefront and ultimately will be easier to buy into when Oka is in a better place. Right now, she has her traumas to face in getting over those. Getting confidence and otherwise feeling comfortable in herself is not a short process. Jumping feet first into being together with Kai with their differences in social standing, will be highly detrimental to her mental health. Perhaps most importantly, now that I read the full two volumes of this and watch how Murata approaches the story, I'm beginning to see how it has become such a long-running and popular series. There's certainly a lot of potential here that turns the things the creator can explore and there's a lot of depth to it in its cast. As I said earlier, Honeymoon's Honey Lemon Soda's approach to the subject matter is rare for the genre, and it's going to be who draws in a dedicated audience here in the West. I certainly look forward to seeing more of it going forward. As previously mentioned, Honey Lemon Soda Volume 2 comes to the West thanks to Yen Press, it has been translated by Amanda Healy with letter with Chiho Christie. The translation reads well with no issues to note, and there are a few translation notes at the back of the book, mostly detailing references. Poetry is currently scheduled for an English release in August, so Yen Press is still releasing this fairly quickly for now. This is reassuring. Giving to the sheer amount of it to getting drunk before we catch up to the Japanese releases. Overall, Honey Lemon Soda Volume 2 builds on a strength at the first entry and delivers a thoughtful story that's willing to put the romance aside to better develop its cast. If you enjoy Volume 1, then this one certainly won't disappoint, and certainly shows up, shows us what it has become such a long-running series. A review copy from Young Price was supplied by Diamond Book Distributors UK, 8 out of 10.